India needs more doctors. This has been a fact for decades. We are just not producing enough doctors. Transworld Educare was established in the year 1999 to meet this one requirement. To be able to produce more medical professionals for this country and the world over. There are many reasons why we are not able to produce enough good quality doctors. Many children are going unable to fulfill their dreams, their parents' dreams, and unable to serve the community because of multiple barriers. Transworld Educare has been created for the sole purpose of helping this student, these people who want to fulfill their dreams and to be able to serve the community. Until now, we produce thousands of doctors and continue to do so and will do so for years to come to produce doctors to serve the community. Transfer Educare and King's International Medical Academy have also been able to create 4,000 graduates who have been able to practice throughout India and the world. And not only are these students just passing this examination, the FMG, with the highest pass percentage of 85%, but they have also been consistently topping the exam for the last decade. For the past four years consecutively, DMSF students through Transport Educare and King's International Medical Academy have taken six positions in the top 10 rankings out of approximately 20,000 students who have given the exam each year. Transport Educare and King's International Medical Academy not only take care of the admission of the students, but also ensure and take care of every single part of the process involved in the education of the students from the beginning to the end, including the pre-med course which is conducted in India. At Transport Educare and King's International, we take care of the students' academics, their hostels, their well-being, their visa documentation and every single area where the student requires help. We also ensure quality service is given to each and every student and parent to ensure the best possible outcome when the student comes back to India to be able to practice to their full potential. So of course, you might be asking why Philippines? You see, there are thousands of options out there. But you need to consider a few important factors when choosing any medical college abroad. One of the most important advantages at Philippines is the language. It is one of the largest English-speaking countries in the entire world. Another important point is the climate. The climate is nearly identical or very similar to the one that we have here in India. And hence, we have a very similar disease spectrum as well present, which gives students a good area to practice in on similar diseases that you might find over here in India. The education system is also an important point which students need to look into. Is the education system going to help you when you come back over here to practice in India? When it comes to the system of education that is actually followed, in medicine in Philippines, it is the MD pattern. The MD that we use over here in India is mostly used to denote the postgraduate program. But the MD in Philippines is more of the American system. We in India have adopted the MBBS from the British system. The Filipinos have adopted the MD, which are both equivalent when you come back over here in India to practice. Now the MD system follows more from the practical standpoint of education in medicine. So students when they come back over here, they are better acquainted with skills and they have a better skill set to be able to practice well at hospitals in India. Now another important point that we need to learn and need to study more about is why DMSF? Why particularly DMSF in the Philippines? Now, if we see the overall rankings of universities at Philippines, you'll see that DMSF ranks number five 
in the Philippines medical licensure examination which was conducted even this year and has consistently been in the top 6 over the last decade. It is one of the highest ranked colleges which actually accepts Indian students. Not only that, it gives the opportunity to pursue high quality medical education at a very affordable price compared to a lot of options that you have available over here in India and overall abroad. Quality of education is ensured by following many important factors and also most primarily the actual practical exposure that our students will receive in the multiple hospitals which are situated at Davao itself. DMSF for a long time has been the only medical institute in the city of Davao and it has thereby been able to link itself with a lot of the major, a lot of the major hospitals in Davao. Now you might be asking why DMSF? DMSF is ranked number 5 amongst all the medical colleges in the Philippines and it is the highest ranked institute which actually accepts foreign students as well and it has been consistently in the top 6 ranks over the last 10 years. DMSF ensures this high ranking by having a lot of quality control measurements and the best facilities available within its campus as well. Not only that, DMSF students also get the opportunity to practice at various hospitals throughout the city of Davao. Being one of the only medical colleges in, this, in the southern region of Mindanao, it gives DMSF the access to be able to associate itself with a majority of the major hospitals situated at Davao itself, including the largest hospital in the Philippines, the Southern Philippines Medical Center, which has over 2,500 beds. This means that each and every one of our students can practice extensively during their final years of the training. Each one of our students can live by the exposure that they have received over there and this ensures that when they come back over here they can practice as good competent doctors. Now other than these practical exposure points there are also anatomage facilities, there are also virtual reality stations, simulation mannequins and high quality ultra modern libraries as well and classrooms. These all get together and ensure that each one of our students receives the best possible. Not only that, for each and every one of our students, we also have our own Indian hostel facilities available with Indian food as well served for each and every one of our students. We have our own Indian staff as well to take care of each and every requirement that our students may have and to ensure the safety of our students throughout the year. Parents can communicate with our staff at Philippines as well for any issue or any problem that they might be facing and they can always be in touch with their children. After completion of your MD program at DMSF, Indian students can come back to India and they can attempt the FMG exam or as it may soon be called the NEXT, next examination. This exam is conducted twice in a year, once in the month of June and once more in the month of December. Though we would want each and every student and we will try to ensure that each and every one of our students get through the first attempt itself. Once you clear this exam, you may then proceed to either get a permanent registration at the state of your choice or depending on the requirement, you may be needed to do an internship for the duration of one year. After completion of the internship program or while doing your actual practice with the permanent registration, you may also attempt your PG, NEAT PG examination, which may again be replaced by the next exam. Or else, as we may suggest to a lot of students, you may go for a lot of other PG courses abroad as well. This may be done after completion of your MD program at DMSF directly. Though we do recommend each and every one of our students to first clear the FMG exam in India before doing so. Students can practice throughout the world. It doesn't matter where your choice is. You may go to the US, the UK, 
Canada or Australia. These are some of the popular choices where a majority of our students go. Depending on what your preference are, you may have to give an exam in each and every one of these countries before you actually are able to practice in them. To take admission at DMSF, there are a few basic requirements which a student must complete. Number one being the minimum marks requirement in their 12th standard. If you are an Indian student, you may also need to clear your NEAT examination. By clearing the NEAT examination, we mean scoring the minimum 50 percentile if you are in general category and 40 percentile if you are a part of OBC SEST. In your 12th, you are required to score the minimum of 50 percentage in your PCB, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, as prescribed by the NMC. A student may also take admission into DMSF by being a lateral entry student. This means that you have already completed a BSc program in India or anywhere throughout the world, a recognized BSc program. This means that you can directly go into the MD part of the course and you can skip the pre-med program itself. You are also required to meet again the minimum requirements in your 12th and NEET as well as clearing your uh, BSc course. The regular program at DMSF is divided into two parts, the pre-med and the MD program. The pre-med program will go for the duration of a year and a half before students go into the MD part of the program, which will go for a duration of four years. The subjects in your pre-med will be similar to some of the subjects which are taught during first year MBBS and a few additional subjects as well. Then the remainder of your MD course will be very identical subject wise to the MBBS course. But in your final year, which is your fourth year MD, you will be doing what is called as clinical clerkship. It is equivalent to the internship in India as per the NMC regulation, which came out in August of 2020. During this clinical clerkship, you are doing various rotations at hospitals. You will be doing rotations of prescribed timelines in certain departments as well. A lot of extracurricular activities are conducted extensively by DMSF and Transvaal Educare and King's International Medical Academy during the course of your entire education itself, including sports activities and various cultural events. We try to keep as much as possible during the entire course so that we can actually keep our students in touch with our Indian culture and to be able to celebrate the beauty that is within our culture itself. Sports activities are encouraged as well to be pursued by each and every one of our students. Though of course, education will take priority and then these activities. Flights are available to Davao from any one of the major international airports at India. Usually, these flights have a stopover at cities such as Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, Bangkok or Hong Kong. The duration of these flights is usually 7 hours after the stopover with them directly then going to the Vow. Both national and privatized banks in India provide loan facilities for our students if they want to pursue medical education at DMSF. We will provide all the necessary documents which are required for a student to take a loan. The FMG exam or soon to be next examination primarily focuses on the capabilities of the student to see whether the student is capable enough to be able to practice as a good doctor in India. Most of the basic training which is required for the student to be able to successfully give the examination is given during their education at DMSF itself. But yes, after completion of the course, we do have an optional six month training program given to each and every one of our students for these examinations itself. During these six months, we give students basic training on how to attempt the examination. We give them basic training of all 19 subjects which are actually required for the student to successfully give the FMG exam itself. DMSF houses one of the most advanced set of simulation mannequins available in the whole of Southeast Asia. 
in these simulation mannequins itself dmsf students can practice and get a good understanding of human anatomy and how to respond to basic healthcare procedures and how to actually conduct them before they need to go to the hospitals during their final years to be able to practice on the real patients itself students can get a good training on each of the simulation mannequins which are available for across all age groups and different types as well for different types of ailments being one of the only medical colleges in all of southern philippines means that dmsf students have good access to a lot of cadavers which they can directly practice on students get access to each and every one of these cadavers to be able to understand the reality of human anatomy and to get a feel of what it is really like to practice on a patient itself at dmsf we also have an ultra modern library and e library facilities which is one of the best in all of philippines available for each and every one of our students all of our students get access to this library where they can actually go and study as well in individual study areas and group study rooms